Hey y'all, it is officially day three of Vlogmas. So y'all know what that means, I'm back with another video. This video is probably gonna be a little lengthy because I'm talking about, you know, starting YouTube, what to buy, how much I spent so far. All right, so first of all, let's start off why I started doing YouTube. I started doing YouTube because since the year of 2016, it has literally been my passion ever since. But I've just been procrastinating, been in my own head, just a little afraid, you know what I'm saying? But I'm finally here and I'm excited. So, um, in 2016, let's be honest, that's like when YouTube was at its prime. That's when we seen Diara, Ken, Damo, Chrissy, like that, they basically influenced me to want to start YouTube. And now I'm finally, oh, and Jazz, can I forget Jazz, love Jazz. That influenced me to basically start doing YouTube. I wanted to be either be an influencer or a content creator. So yeah, I'm finally here, finally starting, I'm excited. excited. Y'all, I'm so sorry. You know how when you're sick, you can't hear yourself? So you just, I don't even know how I sound right now, y'all. If I sound congested, again, I'm sorry. Okay, so first of all, I started, I'm glad I started on YouTube. Because, you know, like, as a kid, you already always know, like, I'm not, I'm supposed to be great. Like, you could just feel it. Like, I'm supposed to be doing something more than what I'm doing, yada, yada, yada. And, like, for instance, like, I have a good paying job right now. But I just feel like, it's just this feeling like I'm supposed to be doing something more than just, you know, delivering somebody's mail like it's like I'm just you know what I'm saying I have more to offer than just you know working for someone else and I feel like once you switch your mindset to I don't want to work for nobody else I want to be my own boss I feel like once you get that boss mentality it's over I attended back in 2021 and honestly I didn't have enough I feel as though I didn't have enough you know self-confidence to you know keep going with it that's why I didn't have enough self-confidence i don't mean like um i felt ugly or that my self-esteem was like at an all-time low you know what i'm saying my headspace and my mindset wasn't you know ready either if that makes sense like i just i just wasn't ready like at all not only that i recorded a video i had recorded a day in the life for me right and this was in 2021 when I had to start my channel. I, um, I recorded a day in the life with me and like, y'all, I went back to watch it and I was just like, ugh, yuck, no. Like, I didn't like the way I sounded. I didn't like the way I was recording. I didn't like my lighting. I didn't like anything. Like, I was just like, ugh, if I don't, and then I thought in my head, like, if I don't like all these things, why would somebody else like them? Also like, I just can't do this. Like, so I gave up on it all, all because of that one video, y'all. Only because, like, seeing me on the camera, and I was like, just no. Like, you're not that, you're just, you. that's not your profession. That's what I had told myself, even though I really, 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 really wanted to do it. But nevertheless, it's okay because I feel like everything happens for a reason. Your time comes whenever your time comes. All right, so, and then another thing, it's like, Y'all are y'all big. Honestly, yourself, you're your biggest hater. You're your biggest, you know, critic. And I feel like once you switch your mindset to like, you know what? Maybe somebody else will just bother me because that's just who I am. You know what I'm saying? You just got to accept yourself for yourself. Like, you become your biggest confidant. Like, yes, this is me. I feel like you can literally be whatever you want to be. Like, literally. You got to put your mindset to it. Like, but the only thing is, are you willing to do the work? If you're willing to do the work, you're, you can literally be whatever you want to be. Forget all that doubt. Like, plant another seed in you. Like, plant the seed, oh, I'm going to achieve. You know what I'm saying? Switch your mindset because you got this. This is, this is all minor. Anything, and then, bit, like, before lighting, are you serious? You can literally change that. Like, but it's okay because I felt like my it wasn't my time yet, and that's okay. And I feel like now is my time, and we're just going to see how it goes. I wasn't where I wanted to be financially, like, <laughs> at all, y'all. When I say I wasn't where I wanted to be financially, like, the video ideas that I had planned at the time, I didn't have the money for that. Um, the video quality that I wanted, I didn't have the money to provide the equipment for that. You know what I'm saying? I just felt like, oh... All unnecessary reasons. I could have literally just put out my phone and went to town. Oh, y'all. I'm also recording off my phone today, which is a 14 Pro Max. And because I'm going to also, I'm going to be showing y'all everything that I purchased so far. I really feel like me saying that I didn't have, like, you know, the finances and all this and that. I really feel like that came from a lot of procrastination that came, that also, you know, hindered from me basically not having the confidence, my confidence built up yet. Because it's like... Those are not, those are all minor reasons. I could have definitely kept going, but 
it's okay. When I say I was overall scared, I was more so like scared of what people may think. Yes, y'all. And now you can't pay me to care what somebody think. But I was more, I was mostly scared of like what people may think. Not just anybody, like not just random people. Like I was more confident in talking to the whole world than I would be like to my family. I felt like more so like my family and then my significant other at that time. And you know, people that's close to me or like people in my hometown, I feel like they would be more so like judge me and talk down on what I'm doing. And then I was scared of basically having like no support, like lack of support. And like now I feel like it's okay. You actually think about it. It's gonna be people from your hometown that don't like you or it's gonna judge something that you're doing. It's gonna be family members that don't support. You know what I'm saying? But honestly, after I done started my family, they're, they're pretty supportive. As a matter of fact, I'm gonna say they haven't been judgy, but I feel like the lack of support is still there. Like, and I feel like that's okay because, you know, a stranger will give you a dollar before a family member will, and that's fine. Like, I'm just taking it as I go, and what's meant to be is what's meant to be. Um, so yeah, what I was scared of, I'm no longer scared of, and I'm just, I'm just thankful to even be in the headspace to where I feel comfortable with doing it now. So that's basically why I started YouTube. I basically just started YouTube because, you know, it's always been a passion of mine, and now I'm finally doing it. I've been investing so much into it, like so much of my money, so much of my time, and I'm honestly thankful for it. Like, um, it is what it is. I'm, I'm just... I'm really, I'm happy to even feel confident to record and post it. Like, and so don't get me wrong. Sometimes I'd be nervous. Like, oh my gosh, like it's going to be people that I don't even know watching me, but it's okay. <laughs> so I've invested my money into my YouTube by buying items that I felt like I would need or that I need. I've, and I've also been invested a lot of time. And by that, I mean, it's, it's not, and editing videos is not like a quick 10 minute thing. It's, it's like, I, and sometimes it, take, it can take me an hour. That's just on a good day. Or it could take me up to five to six hours. It just depends, you know? So, I mean, if you're thinking about doing YouTube, think about are you going to have the time to, um, matter of fact, not if you're going to have the time, are you going to make the time? Make the time to invest into yourself. Make the time to edit your videos properly. You know, take your time. It's okay. Whatever. At the end of the day, it's yourself. Like, you, you want to look out for you. So... Take the time to edit your videos. Go back through them thoroughly. You know, make any changes that you feel necessary. Yeah. So all right, that's just, that's one thing. Time. I invested a lot of time. Money, of course. You know what I'm saying? Anything that you have a passion for, you're going to invest time and money into. Period. Um, Like, if you can invest money into going to work, you can invest money into doing YouTube. You can invest money into um your business. You can invest money into yourself. Just like you can and like you can invest time to going to work. You can invest time to doing YouTube. You can invest time to editing your videos. You can invest time into your own business. Stop getting in your own way. Have the confidence to do. Have the confidence to you know thrive. You got it. You got this. If you if your mindset is already I have to do something else. I want to be a boss. You already started. Now achieve it. You got it. Keep going. Period. Keep going. And this is not just for girls. So if you're an, if you're a man in here, hello. And yeah, keep going. If you started, keep going. You got this. Period. All right. So all right. So first, I'm gonna start off with my MacBook, and I'm gonna total up. I'm gonna uh, tally up everything at the end. So this was my first item. I would say I officially invested my money into buying because I felt like I really needed a MacBook. I always wanted a MacBook, and I was like, hey, I got the money now. Let's invest this first because you know I want to be able to edit my videos or I want to be able to post my videos. So this was thirteen hundred dollars at the time, and this is a I'm uh, uh what is this a MacBook? I'm sorry, a MacBook Pro. I mostly use this when it comes to my uploading. Only because, like, especially when I'm on the go. If I want my videos to be in 4K. So, this is the thing. So, you can record your videos, download them in 4K. But, like, if you're trying to upload from your iPad, it will not upload in 4K. It only gives the option of HD. Whereas, you can do it on your MacBook or iMac. And it can, um, it'll upload in 4K also. Giving your video just better quality. HD is great, but 4K is better. So, why not go, why not give your video the best quality if you can? And I like to type my video ideas. So I do put all of my, um, I do put, before I do a video, I do type them all in my notes first. Like, I go through and I type them in my notes. And I like to do that on my computer because I feel like it's more efficient for me. And I connect, I have all of my, for my YouTube, for my YouTube, I have, every, I have a whole different iCloud separate. 
so that all of my YouTube ideas can be all in one place. They are all connect on one stream, like literally, like my cap cut is all on one account so that I can edit it from different from different devices on the go, literally. All right. So yeah, first investment. I love this investment. Not saying that you need this because you definitely can go without, but I like it, love it, you know what I'm saying? Not saying that you have to buy this, it's not a must, but it is a good investment. Um, next, we have um, my iPad. Okay, I like I already told y'all my iPad. I love to edit on my iPad. I like to edit on my iPad only because like I like to be able to touch, um, touch and move where I want to edit it. I can just tap it. I don't have to scroll on a mouse, you know? I can get, I, I feel like it's more, specific when I'm trying to edit on my iPad. I feel like it's more efficient for me because I can touch specifically what I want to. Um, what else? I bought two of these. So I have a pink one and I have a blue one. My girlfriend has the pink one right now. Um, and I bought two because I also like, I like to record off of my iPad also, only because it's like I'm seeing myself as I'm going, it's like a bigger screen. Um, so yeah, I, and y'all, I, this, I will say my iPad, I feel like is my best investment so far. My iPad. I love, love, love my iPad. My video ideas that I put in my notes is transferred over here so I can um, view them on the go. Um, it's not as bulky, you know what I'm saying, as the Mac, as if I'm, as me carrying the MacBook. And also, the iPad provides great quality. So far, if you look through my videos, I have recorded off my iPad. It gives great, great, great quality. And you're able to see yourself like... I, I just love that on a bigger screen. Like, don't get me wrong, I love recording off my camera as well, but it's just uh, compared to that little screen, the big screen, I'm, I just, I love it. I feel like this is a must. An iPad is a must. I'm sorry, that's what I feel like is a must. Not to mention y'all, yeah, I remember when I told y'all I attempted to do, I attempted to start YouTube in 2021, but I didn't have the confidence, you know, I felt like I wasn't ready. So I just took the time, I slowed down a little bit and I slowly invested into myself. All these items, I didn't buy all at one time. Like I didn't buy all this at one time. I, I prepared for, I prepared to, you know, start my channel now. So I bought this ring light, I wanna say in 2021, whenever I first um, thought about, or 2020 maybe, when I first thought about, you know, actually giving it a shot. Um, I got this while I was on sale, and at the time it was on sale for $90, but I'm telling y'all, don't walk, run. It's on sale right now for 7 so run. I'm telling y'all, get that deal. Um, so this ring light, it does, it gets really bright like this, and then it gets um, dimmer. If you want a dimmer, it does come with covers. I don't have my covers on, um, but yeah. This was a this is a, also a great investment, especially if you're going to be dealing with videos at home, and you know you want to just provide some lighting. And this top piece also comes off. So, for instance, if I wanted to, if I wanted to record a video in the bathroom, I could take this piece off and I could just sit it in the back, and I can still record my videos and have great lighting, great, great quality. I feel like YouTube is definitely all about I'm not gonna say all about quality, but it does play a, a big part. Um, and I'm just starting, so like. I'm just starting and YouTube has already changed my life. And, and I'm not saying like, oh, I'm making millions because I haven't, I haven't made a dime off YouTube yet. But I feel like it just, it changes your mindset to where it's like, oh, I got a reason to get up today. I got a reason to go, you know, stay busy. You know what I'm saying? I got a reason to get dressed. I got a reason to, you know, get dolled up. You know what I'm saying? I just, I, I, I love the feeling. You know what I'm saying? It might not be for everybody, but me personally, I love the feeling. Um, so yeah, that was $90. And right now, so sell for seventy. The MacBook was thirteen hundred, and the iPad was five hundred. And I bought two, so I spent a thousand. This is a newer ring light. Ninety dollars is what I spent on it. These are newer bicolor LED lights. Um, I love these. These are not a must. Don't get me wrong, but it's just stuff that I invested my money into because I wanted better quality. I love, 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 love this. I first saw these when I went to get my hair done by my stylist. Um, these lights, they might look small or maybe they look big to you. The lighting is immaculate. So that's what I'm using right now. I'm using, cause it, oh, it comes in a pack of two. Now it comes in a pack of two. Um, I'm gonna, I, all of the, everything that I mentioned that I'm going to list in the description, the links to where you can get everything from. I got this from Amazon. I got this from Best Buy. 
MacBook from Best Buy. Amazon for the um ring light. Amazon for the in uh the newer LED lights. So I'm gonna show you how this works. So you can turn this on right here. Well, hopefully. My nails are so long. So you can turn it on like this right here. And it's different settings. So you can keep it all the way yellow. I'm sorry, y'all. So like, okay, like for instance, let's let me just show y'all. So I can keep it all the way yellow like this, right? Or I can add a little bit of whiting. Wait. So that's me turning down the yellow. And let's turn up the whiting. And then I can do the whiting. And it gets really bright. All right. So let's say if I just kept this just like this right here. That's also going to provide me great quality. Quality is key, I feel like. This is, again, the newer LED lights that comes in a pack of two. I spent on this. On these two lights, it comes with two lights and they come with personal bags for them to go in, go on to if you want to travel with them. I spent $205 on these before tax, so probably like $206, $207, maybe more, I'm not sure. $200 something dollars on these, and I love them, but again, there's not a must, but it's just something that I've gotten so far. Now let's get to the camera that I use when I do record off my camera. So the camera that I use is a Sony Alpha zve 10 mirrorless vlog camera and it does come with um uh, it comes with a lens that you can attach to it um so this is what matter of fact let me uh take the lens off so y'all can actually see all right so this is the camera that I use. It is a ZV, it is a ZV-E10 Sony camera. I freaking, I love it. The quality is great. The battery is long lasting. Um, and, it, it, um, and it does have to where you can see yourself as you're recording. Um, and it does come with this. This is a 16, uh, 16 to 50 millimeter lens. And if you wanna just attach it, you literally just slide that baby on. Twist it to lock it on, and it is now on. And I just took my cover off. And like for instance, okay, let's turn her on. Let's just turn her on really quick. So say I turn her on, this is what happens when you turn it on. This lens comes out, and as you can see how it's, it shows you that mirror. And matter of fact, let's do it like this. So like, I'm gonna let y'all see. This is how the quality is so far. And like the lens is a little dirty. I'm sorry, y'all. But okay, it's a little dirty, but oh, it zoomed in. I'm sorry. All right, boom. So that's what the quality on this looks like. I love, 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 love this camera. And it's not, it's a little heavy, but not really. Good for on the go. If you want to film content on the go, I definitely will get this. And it has a um a little spot where you can put on a tripod definitely good i recommend i recommend this camera not a must because you can always use your phone but i do recommend this camera if you're going to get a camera um so yeah and this cost me 800 dollars from best buy um i also got this microphone from best buy it is a, a road it is a road um microphone this mic oh this microphone is great at keeping out background noise um, I honestly should use it more often. Um, it also does a great job at capturing from somewhat of a distance. This uh, microphone did run me $100, but I feel like it was worth the investment. Um, Cause you know, you invest, in, you invest in quality. So quality over quantity, so yeah. So do recommend, this is the camera that I'll be using. And this is the microphone that I use also. I do use this tripod. I'm not really sure where I got this tripod from, but I know you can get, I think that, the cheapest I've seen so far on Amazon is like a $35 tripod. Um, and I like this one because, it does, you know, it does have that little piece at the top. And I do just, if I want to, I can twist. If I want to, I can twist my camera onto it. Or if I want to, you know, I can, you know, I can attach any little tripod connector that I, that I want. I also did purchase this. Um, this is a tripod connector for an iPad. It does get really big. And because I told y'all I do love recording off my iPad. So I do love this investment. This was, I feel like this was a must for me because I love recording off my iPad. So 
Yes, this does attach to this as well. So when I want to record off my iPad, I just attach this or I can attach it from here to get a better, you know, of where I want to go. Again, and I got this from Walmart. If I didn't mention already, yeah. I got this from Walmart. It does get really big to attach the um, iPad to it. And this only ran me $10 at your local Walmart. So I do recommend that. I also invested in my passport because I already know I'm going to be traveling. That's my biggest goal um, for the year of 22. For the, uh, my biggest goal for the year of 2024 is to travel more. Like I literally want to just travel as much as I can um, wherever I can. So I do plan on putting this to use. I have not put it to use yet, but I do plan to. This ran me, I don't know how much I ended up spending in all, but I want to say about two to three hundred dollars for my passport. Um, when I bought my camera, I did also invest in a 128 gigabyte Sandisk SD card. That ran me thirty dollars. I got an SD card so that I can, you know, film as much as I want to or need to. But I also do delete videos as I go to, you know, still keep my space, you know open for me to use i also invested my money into which i love my imac so my imac i can't just pick up and bring over here obviously because it's an imac um i like it because whenever i want to post my video i feel like it offers it offers more when i want to post my videos onto youtube like it it, it, it lets me choose if i want to you know do them in screens it lets me choose if i want to upload it in 4k it helps me choose like it just gives you more options whenever you're on an actual computer and i i love it and it's, it's sleek it's nice it's beautiful i love it i, I use CapCut to edit my videos which let me just say at first i was using iMovie but CapCut. 10 out of 10 do recommend they y'all it's amazing anything that you really need or want to go looking for is literally kind of right there in the app you just have to play around with it a little bit i'm still figuring out um things that's inside of the app and so far y'all i really do love CapCut. that is really an underrated app and then it's like mostly free i love it 10 out of 10. i do use canva to make my thumbnails um they're great also i really do love them um and yeah Canva and CapCut, they do their job. They do what they need to do. So to so I spent a total, not counting the passport, I spent a total like $4,935 so far. So basically we're gonna round it up to probably like 5,000 um, because I didn't do anything with tax. Um, my passport was like 200 to 300 something dollars. So we're gonna just go ahead and round everything up to probably like 5,300 ish um, is how much I spent so far. Um, I did also invest in a journal. Because say if I don't have my iPad on me or my um, my MacBook, I do go ahead and drop my ideas down as soon as they click in my brain. So that I know like, okay, I need to go ahead and put this in my notes. Go ahead and, you know, put this on paper so that I know I won't forget this idea. And then my girlfriend brought me a 2024 to 2025 planner. And I do plan to go ahead and start writing in this, going and getting ready for next year. I don't really mind how much money and time that I'm investing into it because this is something that I want to do long term. This is something that I want to make a career. Like this is, you know what I'm saying? So I feel like if you're afraid of starting YouTube because you're afraid of what people may think, fuck what people would think, you got this. Like at the end of the day, you're gonna live your own life. Fuck if somebody else has something to say about it. Live in your own truth. Do YouTube, I support it. You know what I'm saying? Do whatever you wanna, be whatever you wanna be, do whatever you wanna do. Cause this is your life, you have to live it and fuck what everybody else gotta say. So yes, y'all, that is the end of my Vlogmas Day 3 video. Just to give y'all a little bit of intake on starting a YouTube, uh, starting a YouTube channel, what to buy, and how much I spent so far. Um, and again, you don't really need all these things that I've shown you. These are just things that I bought. If you have an iPhone or if you have any phone of that matter, you want to start a YouTube channel, record off your phone. Download CapCut, download Canva, and you're good. Like, if you want better lighting, these are some options that you can have. Um, if you want to uh, invest in an iPad, which I do recommend, um, you can get a lot of editing done on these. Um, what else? MacBook, if you want to, you know, edit on the go. I don't really do a lot of editing on it, but if you want to upload on the go, type up notes on the go, you can use your phone. You can use your MacBook. You can use your iPad. Any devices that you feel like, you know what I'm saying, 
all of these devices have I have used and I do love using. Um, this again, ten dollars at Walmart, and I do recommend it if you're going to be recording off an iPad because it's a lot easier than holding the iPad out. You'll have a tripod to hold, and this is this does you know record at any angle. That is the end of my uh, video. As always, love y'all. Make sure y'all like, comment, share, and subscribe. And I'll see y'all next time. Let me see your hands. Wave them at them bitches hating on you with their friends. Girl, you got